Star is Born is directed by Bradley Cooper and stars Bradley Cooper alongside Lady Gaga and tells the story of a excellent musician known as Jack who after finding and discovering and falling in love with Lady Gaga's character Ali helps her achieve success but in the meantime his own success and his own career begins to go into a downward spiral. Now looking ahead at the rest of 2018, this movie was my most anticipated for the rest of the year. It was easily one of my most anticipated in the entire year as a whole, but for the rest of the year, specifically in the back half of the fall and also going into award season, this was definitely at the top of my list. I love anything to do with music, I love any kind of musical performance type of movies, and that's exactly what this was. And especially taking into account, this is Lady Gaga's first massive, uh, obviously leading film role, and this was also Bradley Cooper's directorial debut. So there was a lot riding on this movie. First off, Bradley Cooper is phenomenal in this film. Probably his best role I have seen yet. I mean, I'm a big fan of Bradley Cooper, especially as a comedic actor. I think he's great. I've seen the Hangover trilogy, obviously as Rocket Raccoon in the MCU, but I've never seen a role like this from him before. He's very heartfelt, very real, very grounded. His accent adds a lot to his character and also to his heritage, and I think he's a very excellently cast role. And again, to add to the point, his directing in this film you know, given that this is directorial debut, it was outstanding. I think he's really able to get a lot of visceral shots, especially because there's a specific element to his character, Jack, that has to do a lot with alcoholism. And there are many scenes in this movie where Jack is drunk and you actually get to see how it actually feels to be drunk and you actually get to see how using camera work and also using shaky cam in some cases to actually emphasize, you know, a drunk fidelity is really well handled. And I think Bradley Cooper deserves so much credit for this, not only for his acting, but his directing too. And we can't talk about this movie without talking about Lady Gaga, who is phenomenal in this film also. I've never seen Lady Gaga in a movie before, obviously I know her music of course, but she is outstanding. I am not going to be surprised if she gets nominated, let alone wins Best Actress at the Oscars next year, because she is just mind-blowing. Every time she's on screen, she just draws you in and you can't take her eyes off her, like she's absolutely beautiful on stage. And you can't believe it sometimes, you know, especially because obviously we know she can sing, we know that. So when she sings in this movie, it's not really a surprise. But when she acts, you really didn't know she had that within her. And I think it's a massive credit to her that obviously this is a part of her career that she hasn't really been able to get into before. And I also want to bring up a certain nuance with her character where you would have seen this in the trailer where she says that people didn't exactly like the way she looked, but she liked the way she sounded. And I think there's actually some truth in that when it comes to Lady Gaga, because if you remember, you know, especially back to some of her earlier days when she first started to come into prominence, she would always wear very strange and obscure outfits. Nobody really knew what she looked like for a lot of years. And I think there's some truth in that. And I feel like, again, maybe that's why Lady Gaga took this role was because there was some kind of personal connection to it. And again, I think that nuance really adds to it. And I have no doubt in my mind that Sam Elliott is going to get a nomination and also most likely win Best Supporting Actor because his role, wow, especially in the early scenes, there is a lot of fantastic moments with Sam Elliott, his connection to Bradley Cooper's character. He has a great scene with Lady Gaga towards the end. He is just a powerhouse in this film and expect him to definitely win some awards come award season. Now, of course, this movie has a very heavy emphasis on the music and this is honestly the best original soundtrack I have seen since La La Land. And I was almost convinced this was done by Benj Pasek and Justin Ball because it was so well done. Especially when you look at the music that Bradley Cooper does. Also, I didn't know Bradley Cooper could sing, so there you go. But you get to see his music and it's very rock heavy and it's very, you know, Western kind of country rock and it's very well implemented into the film and definitely fits with his character very well and it's just really excellently performed especially like with like guitar riffs and solos there's a lot of awesome music from him and then we see Lady Gaga again we knew she could sing so it wasn't really much of a surprise but you get to see a very different style of singing from Lady Gaga of course she's very much a pop singer but you get to see her take on many different genres here while also retaining to her pop status and I think both of them together deliver an excellent soundtrack I believe the soundtrack will probably come out next week but I can't wait for that. There's one song available at the moment which you can go check out, which is called Shallow, which is kind of like the most advertised one. If you haven't seen the movie yet, do not listen to the song. Wait till you see it on screen before you listen to it. But also, I am so excited for the whole soundtrack to come out because from everything I heard in this film, it's going to be one of my favorites for sure. Also, this is the fourth adaptation of A Star Is Born. There have been three other movies about this storyline throughout history. Now, I've never seen any of the previous three. I didn't know what the story was before going into this film, and I'm glad that that was the case because this story, I don't know if it's different to the other three. It could be. I'm not 100% sure on that front. However, one thing that really took me by surprise by this film is the story. And obviously, no spoilers here. I'm not going to tell you what the story is. 
but for sure, if you have never seen A Star Is Born before, if you've never seen any of the previous adaptations, do not do your research because you will want to go into this movie as fresh as you possibly can because this film takes a lot of different story beats that I did not expect it to take and it definitely added to the overall audience experience. Also, this film's quite funny in parts. There was a lot of moments that really had me giggling and actually had me definitely giving it a lot of laughs, which I didn't expect going into this movie. I was actually expecting this movie to have a lot more of an emotional edge, but it's actually a bit different than that. It's a bit more, a um, bit more visceral than that than I was expecting. But you know, going back to the comedy, this film is very funny. There's a lot of really good, smart comedic moments. Again, kind of a lot more situational humor, a lot more relatable personal humor, which definitely works for me a lot better than to say jokes or quips and it's not like that it's very real very relatable and again i think that adds to why it's so funny in parts and yeah my only slight nitpick is that yeah this movie i say probably was going to be a little bit more emotional maybe that was just what i was expecting and maybe you know it was a personal thing which is why it's only a slight nitpick i'm not holding this against the movie at all i'm just saying i was kind of expecting it especially to towards the end as what happens happens i was expecting there to be a bit more of an emotional grip to the end but it wasn't quite there so it might be for some people, maybe there will be other people who watch this movie who do find it very emotional. But for me personally, I just didn't, it didn't quite hit me in that way that I was expecting it to. Not necessarily a gripe towards the film, obviously maybe that's not what the film's going for, and obviously it was my expectations going up against that. But for me personally, I was expecting there to be a little bit more emotion in there, but it wasn't. However, I'm not holding that against the movie, it was more of a personal thing. Overall, I loved A Star Is Born. This film is absolutely wonderful across the board. Like I said, amazing performances from both Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Mix that with the music, which was just phenomenal in this film. Really good. Like I said, best soundtrack since La La Land, without a doubt. And also with everything else in this film, like supporting characters, like with Sam Elliott's character, and many, many more. This film is a true standout. Easily one of the best of the year. And for my personal opinion, it is my favourite film of the year so far. I think it's going to take a lot of beating to get past this movie. There are a couple of contenders left for this year to really fight for that position. But I really think A Star Is Born might be a lock for me as my favourite film of the year. And for me, it was truly special. So did you guys see A Star Is Born? If you did, make sure you tell me all your thoughts about it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I doubt it. But if you did, make sure you tell me all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Let's have a discussion about A Star Is Born. And if you want to see more movie reviews from me, be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.